everyone. Lauren Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California, middle of the afternoon. Um, I've got a couple videos backed up in my computer and I want to purge my computer and get those out of here. So you might be seeing a little backup of, uh, of videos. So the book I'm working in on these videos no longer exists in my world. I had a student come to class last week with a couple of books that were glued together and as we know that doesn't work. So um, I gave her my book. She can play in it. There's a few uh, two-page spreads already done. So we are starting a new book together. You will see that video in the future. So uh, I talked to somebody in Lawrence, Kansas today. Our Chris uh, lives in Lawrence now. Boo-hoo. Miss her lots. But anyway, I spoke to somebody there, Jordan, and uh, we're going to get some uh, t-shirt samples. Um, I'm thinking maybe a purple t-shirt for our, our village. I don't know. We'll see what the samples look like. So um, we're going to bump it up to a colorful one. Short sleeve, crew neck, I believe. I want to do a little thank you, or a big thank you, actually, to Anne, who has uh, sent money to our PayPal, to our village. And we all know that that's very helpful to this girl in our village. <laughs> all right, gang, see you on the table. Okay, this is what we're going to play with today. Isn't that a great background? Oh, my goodness. Lots of fun. With a little vellum pocket add-on. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's what we're going to do today. You can have a focal point here. We're not quite dry yet. Focal point here. I have to clean that off. Or maybe not. We shall see. Very, very fun. I grabbed a few other supplies as we walked forward. So uh, make sure and make a little list so you know what you're using today. Okay, let's talk about the supplies that we're going to need for today. We are going to need our gesso, our Mod Podge, our brush, our crocodile. No particular order, sorry. A template for a narrow envelope. I'll be glad to send you one if you would like. A piece of vellum for the envelope. Some underpants. I just grabbed some stuff off my desk. So, mostly old book text, some fun other papers, some grommets, watercolor paper or watercolors, and some plastic. Okay, we are going to be working on a two-page spread today, putting an envelope in between the pages. Now, as I look at my book that we're working on together, this was the acetate page acetate window page. So this is already sturdy and I've already removed quite a few pages from this particular signature. So I'm going to go on the left and I'm going to glue four pages together. All right. One, two, three, and four. You know how to do this. You're going to grab your Mod Podge and your brush. And just start gluing those four pages together. Our day has already begun around here. Handsome hubby is outside. I think he's working on a, a new table, I think. He's a furniture builder as well as an amazing person. All right. All right, glue all your pages together, okay? All right, I have my two-page spread there. Make sure it's nice and healthy in your book. And I'm just going to start gluing some goodies down. This is a bracelet that my granddaughter Violet made for me. I just spent a couple of days in um, Arizona with some family members and she had made me this wonderful bracelet. So it kind of dangles down in our work. I was 
generous with the Mod Podge on that. Must have been preoccupado by the bracelet. A little shaky this morning. Must have had just enough coffee. My, my, my. You know, it's interesting. I'll just talk to you for a moment. I am, um, I just jured a book show. And uh, amazing, amazing book pieces in the show. Uh, but what I can say is there is a huge difference in the energy that is given off by each piece. Um, you can tell which pieces are a little bit flatter with energy and those that are really wild with energy. And uh, it's amazing to me, actually, the different feel of the different work. And of course, I like, like it to explode with energy each and every page, each and every piece I do. So I know a lot of you are like, oh, the underpants, really? But gang, it does make a difference. All right, I'll put a little bit of underpants down here, and then I'll go to that side and put underpants on that side. Okay, I've decided to do something crazy. I'm taking a napkin. This one happens to have peacocks on it. I don't really care what it has on it. I'm just going to use it for the color. And I'm going to glue that down. This was laying next to my elbow. I thought, hmm, why not? More layers, more colors. My cup of tea. All right, we're just gonna lay that down. It's taken down to its final layer. Make sure to do that. Some of them are two ply, some of them are three ply, but you need to make sure you've got it peeled down to just the one colored layer. Otherwise it will come up off your book. Wowza already, huh? A little bit of Mod Podge on the top layer. I'm just going to leave that hanging off for now. It's good to be on the table. Alright, you can let that dry. You don't have to let that dry. Depends on what you want to do. I do not want to let that dry. Mod Podge. Alright, I'm bringing in my gesso. And I'm going to paint right on top of that wet Mod Podge. Now what's really cool about painting the gesso right on top of the wet Mod Podge is sometimes it'll give me a crackle. The uh, gesso must contract a little bit and it gives me a little bit of a crackle. So we'll see if that happens. Now I'm going to let it dry. While that's drying, I'm going to bring in my piece of vellum and my 
envelope template. I'm going to go ahead and cut my template out. When I have my template cut out, placed it on my vellum, what I would really like to do is not trace this because I don't want any ink or anything like that on my vellum because because of it being so transparent you will see that ink line so I'm just going to cut it out I'll say freehand not quite freehand you know what I mean without a line there so go ahead and cut your vellum out best you can okay I have my envelope cut out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold those flaps in. I want to decide this will be the inside. This is not shiny. This is shiny. So I'm going to just fold that in on that side. Fold that in on this side. I love vellum. And then I'm going to take the bottom and fold that up. Ta da! All right, where's that crocodile? I'm going to take my crocodile and I'm going to make it on the smallest hole punch. And I'm going to punch, mm, I don't know, we'll see how many holes. This wiggles the table, guys, sorry. One, two, three, four, and five. So I have five holes punched down the side. I'm going to flip it and just punch five holes on this side. They will not be in the same places, and I don't care about that. I like things all wonky. And one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take my grommets out some grommets. I have some lovely grommets here. So I'm going to pick out 10 grommets. All right, I have my 10 grommets. I'm going to push my installer to the front. Make sure it's on the tiny hole. If you have a crocodile and you don't know how to use it, I do have a um, tutorial on how to use the, this, the crocodile, which I adore. All right, I'm going to put a grommet. Tweezers might be a good idea. <laughs> or less coffee, can't decide. And let me see if that's the correct one. And there we go. One grommet. Beautiful. So I'm going to install all the grommets. And here's my envelope with the ten grommets. I fold this down. What a beautiful envelope we have. put a grommet there? I think so. Let's put a big grommet there, wanna? Let's. Then we can put a dangle on that, huh? Beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. 
All right, let's bring our book back in. All right, I think our gesso is dry enough. Feels like it's kind of damp under there with the napkin, but I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go in with my watercolor, and you guys know, yep, she likes it juicy. And by juicy, I mean wet, but not super diluted. I still like a lot of color. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Whoop! Well, hello, yellow. Our yellow just got in our green. How about that? We'll do that. I like it. Who knew? Just go with the flow, huh? All right, and while that is nice and wet and juicy, I'm going to take some of that plastic paper, the plastic wrap, and I'm going to stick it down on those pages. Kind of crinkle it up a little bit so that it has some texture. Magic word around here, right? Texture. I was going to dribble the yellow watercolor down, but since the yellow has combined with the green, we will grab something else. And let's grab some blue. Why not? Got my shower while the gesso was drying. Okay, I'm going to go at the top of the book, and I'm going to, this is a little bit hard to show you on screen, but I'm going to try. And then just let that drip down that page. And we can do it. See how it starts to drip down those crevices? Gorgeous. Maybe a little bit more water. As you watch me stumble about with this. hands.
running out of the watercolor, but that's okay. It'll add some color. And just keep playing until you are happy. peek. No peeking. All right, ready for the unveiling. It's not quite dry yet, but it's good. gorgeous. All right, let it dry. Okay, we're all dry. This is some of that printer foil from Jean. I'm going to add a little bit of that in a well-ventilated area. Leaves a beautiful little sheen on there. Thank you, Jean, for the sheen. So I got all excited and pulled some of the underpants off. So this is where I ripped off the underpants. I took some pieces of the napkin that are hanging over the edge and I just glued them on there. Super easy fix. I'll pot those down. Now I'm grabbing some paper tape, washi tape, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to cut it to the size of the envelope. Let me move this. I suppose I could put it over the holes in the back. That wouldn't matter. that in the center. Nice and straight as usual. And put another piece on this side. I used kind of a wide paper tape because sometimes it doesn't like to stick that well.
and there we go. Clearly not completely dry. And so what I would do is I would take my stabilo and go around the edges of my page, around the edges of the envelope. Very nice. Oh, I'm just sticking like crazy. There we go. Leave that up to dry. And you have place for a focal point here, place for a focal point here, and some goodies in there. A little ribbon here. Mm, let's do that. Look at this gorgeous fabric ribbon. Got this from Bonnie. It goes perfect with this page. So I just knotted it on one side and the other and hung it from the little uh, vellum pocket. So, yeah. You know what? This might bug me a little bit, this line of delineation. Let me fix that. Never give up. Never surrender. So I just grabbed a gelato. Turquoise gelato. Put that on this side and on this side of the line. This will peel off later. It's just some texture from there. And let's grab a two. And our ever trusty yellow. All right, gang, go create, go play, go have fun. Oh yeah, that's very fun. Focal points, mm, mm, mm. Go play. <laughs>